Hey there, this is Alexis Santos with Engadget, and this is Mike DeZuby of Cornell University, a master student over there, a CS team lead for the Doombot. Mm -hmm. So can you give us a rundown of what it does and uh, how it works? Absolutely. So we call this the Doombot. What it actually is, is it is a robot that we built throughout the semester and, it, and as part of the Cornell Cup. The Cornell Cup is a national robotics competition wherein we ask schools around the country to solve real-world engineering problems by using the Intel Atom Board provided by Intel and all the documentation that we've generated last year as well as systems engineering principles. Throughout the process, they get guidance from Intel um, as well as from us and from uh, other professors at Cornell. So what we do every year is we build robots ourselves to demo how we want to accomplish certain tasks using the Intel Atom Board and using different technologies. For instance, the Doombot we built this year um, has an Intel Atom Board wired up to two, wire, to two cameras, one here and one here, as well as a laser tag turret. So what we do with these cameras is we actually process the image on the Atom Board here and then we send it over Wi-Fi to a base station where you can watch the, vision, where you can watch the uh, video stream. Now the benefit of that is many other teams that want to solve real world problems, perhaps they want to do video streaming themselves. And by releasing the code and releasing the documentation for all of this, they can essentially build upon our framework and they don't have to reinvent the wheel. So the Cornell Cup at Cornell consists of three, top, of three teams. The computer science team, the ECE team, and the mechanical engineering team. We have John, for instance, from the mechanical engineering team. Falsi from the ECE team. And Luke, a fellow CS team member. So together, we actually built this entire robot and we built this from scratch this year. So mechanical engineering team designed in SolidWorks. They designed how the suspension system would work. Again, something that many other teams wanted to build their own robot, robots that can traverse outside. Then it was passed on to electrical engineering team, who designed such things as a power system that can actually run the atom board, that can run the motors from the rechargeable batteries on board. This is actually charging right now. It is a wireless robot, just to point out. Um, they also designed like the uh, laser tag turret, for instance. Once they have all that, um, we the, it was passed along to a computer science team, where we actually coded everything to control the bot. Here is we have a maze wherein two teams can play laser tag against one another. So we have another Doom bot, and since they both have um, laser tag turrets on them and then motor systems, we can actually drive them around. And this is a group we use to actually control the robot. So it's extremely powerful and interfaces with Xbox controllers, just because they're nice, they're easy to use. So when we play laser tag, we have one person, you can actually turn on the video stream as well. So we have one person looking at the video stream and driving the robot around the arena, while the other person can control the turret and actually move it around and fire. So, as I said, we release all this code, which means we allow other teams to use our GUI and design their own robots based upon it, and also use it to control whatever um, thing they have. So, I think it covers all aspects of it, but in reality, it's a very rugged system, and we release all components of it, and we write documentation every year very lengthy technical documentation that allows schools to pull apart different pieces of it and use exactly what they need. So, so if we're interested in building our own, where can we go to find the code? <laughs> um, it is on Cornell's website uh, under the Systems Engineering Department under the Cornell Cup. So people can download our documentation, they can read more about the competition, and then once we finish up our coding this year, we will release it as well. And again, we allow people to pull apart every aspect of it and we document it very heavily so it's very easy to understand. Things we have um, that are particularly interesting is we have voice recognition, so you can actually tell the robot to go forward, go back, or turn left, turn right. Can you also tell it to shoot? <laughs> we don't have it, uh, we just did not implement that as of yet, but we kind of tell it to do a figure eight, which is pretty cool. We also have a web server, which is actually very powerful, which allows you to control the robot over, an internet, over the internet. And what that means is once you blew up the web server, anyone can hop on with their phones, and they can control the robot, they can move it around, and they can even hook into the video stream. So that's actually a very powerful feature as well. Um, additionally, we have other robots built as well. So we have mod bots, which are a little bit more maneuverable. They're actually omnidirectional, meaning they can go in any direction, left to right, forward to back, and they can even spin. Uh, we also have some other aspects implemented as well, such as an overhead vision system. What that can do is it has four cameras that look down upon the robot, and they can deduce its exact location, accurate to about a tenth of a meter, its exact orientation and velocity. And it can tell us that 60 times a second. The reason we did that, or part of the reason I should say, is so that we can actually create a trajectory system. 
the way a trajectory system works is using the overhead vision, it knows exactly where the robot is, and then we can set a destination anywhere we want in the arena. The trajectory code will create a routing, avoiding any obstacles in the way, and then it has a feedback loop, such that as the robot moves, it will repeatedly generate a new trajectory and cause it to constantly correct and get from point A to point B, avoiding all obstacles. <clears throat> so overall, the Cornell Cup is a national uh, robotics competition that we host, and we release all of our code to have, to have other teams solve real problems and come down to Disney and present their work to be judged by Intel, MathWorks, and a lot of our other sponsors. All right, well, thanks, Mike, and uh, best of luck in the arena. Thank you. <laughs>